Hello, I am Dr. David Bick, and I'm going to continue my discussion of whole genome sequencing. This is one of a series of short videos on this subject. In this segment, I will discuss genes, DNA, and mutations. In a previous segment, I discussed chromosomes. But what are chromosomes? They are the structure that contain our genes. Think of chromosomes as strings. Genes are like beads on a string. A chromosome has a few hundred to a few thousand genes on it. In total, we have about 20 to 25,000 genes. What are genes? Genes are instructions that determine all of our features, such as eye color, hair color, skin color, height, and so forth. Again, our genes are part of the chromosomes, and we pass them in the egg and sperm. This is how we inherit our genes, and this is why we resemble our parents. How do genes work? I like to think of genes as recipes in a cookbook. They tell our cells how to make things. For example, genes tell our cells how to make proteins. It is the proteins that do the work of the cell, such as breaking down our food to supply our body with energy. When our cells need to make a protein, it reads the information in the gene, like reading a recipe in a cookbook. If there are mistakes in the gene, then the body can't make the protein or it makes it incorrectly. We call these gene mistakes mutations. To make this clearer, let's think of a recipe for brownies. If the recipe calls for one cup of sugar and you add eight, the brownies will not come out correctly. It is the same with genes. Even one tiny change in a gene will result in a problem. But what are genes made of? Genes are made of deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short. And DNA is made of nucleotides. There are only four kinds of nucleotides, A, C, T, and G. Think of them as four letters of the DNA alphabet. A string of these letters will make a gene, and when the genes are strung together, they make a chromosome. All genes are composed of just these four letters. The order of the letters and the number of letters is different for each of our 20 to 25,000 genes. To follow the recipe idea a little further, if genes are recipes, then nucleotides make up the letters and words of the recipe. So a mutation in one nucleotide of a gene or one letter of a recipe can result in an abnormal protein or, as mentioned before, ruin a batch of brownies. Remove the middle section of a gene or the middle page of a recipe and the results are worse. There will be no protein or in the case of the recipe, no brownies. Thank you.